I think there's a misconception out there that our best witness or our way of evangelism, our best way to evangelize is to love on the sinners. Hmm. What I mean by that is people go, what's the best way that you can prove to the world that you are a true, genuine follower of God? And it's like, well, you have to love on people. Hmm. And I, I would definitely want to argue that, <laughs> you know, what I mean, because if we go to John 13, 35. We were talking about this the other day. I was telling you about this. John 13, 35 said, Jesus says, the world will know that you are my followers by the way that you love each other. That's it. I think that we really need to go back to prioritizing. And that's another misconception, too. As I'm talking about this, a misconception within a misconception. The rabbit hole goes deeper on this one. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Um the priority prioritizing of meeting the needs of those inside the body compared to meeting the needs of those outside the body. Mm. Um, I think that our priority should always be first on meeting the needs on those that are inside of the body because of what John thirteen thirty five says and a bunch of different other different scriptures. Just Jesus saying that our relationship with our brothers and sisters should be closer than anything else. Yeah. When they said they, you know, Jesus, um, mom and his brothers and his sisters came to tell him he was tripping and he needs to come back home. They were like, yo, your mom and your brothers and your sisters are outside. And Jesus's response was, who's my mom? Who's my brother? Who's my sister? Yeah. Other than those that do God's will. Yeah. Those that do God's will. We we get adopted into a whole new family. Our bloodline becomes different. Yeah. Like our bloodline becomes something totally brand new when we get adopted into the body of Christ. And we have to remember that our family ties become something different when we come to Christ. You know how offensive that is to some ears? Yo, it is. <laughs> and I've gotten into arguments and I've gotten into um, disputes and I've gotten unfriended and I've gotten blocked and hmm. I've gotten passed on in the streets. People not saying hi to me because of statements like that just and you know like you always say it's not me it's what the bible says yeah i didn't say that the word of god does yeah that's very offensive but you know what jesus christ and his message is very offensive the thing is like i like what you're saying because of course matthew 25 right yeah people get that misunderstood and he's talking about um believers but uh i think that a healthy church that has the love one another happening yeah that's the best way to serve people in the world. Exactly. It always, and it, it's the same way. If you're not training certain, if you're not doing certain things at home, what makes you think you're going to do them outside of the home? Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when they say True. when kids are acting up in public, it's like, well, why are they acting like it? It's probably because they ain't got no home training. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Right. They don't know how to act at home, so they definitely ain't going to know how to act in public. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And and I think that's the ch- the church. And I was telling Davina this the other day. I think that the church right now in 2019, I think we need to focus more on in reach than we do need to focus on outreach. Mm. Another one, man. You're making people upset. I know. I know. <laughs> I, it, but it's so true, man. Like, because it's like you're going to bring them into a burning building. Right. You're going to bring them into um a, a, a really bad hospital. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. What's the point of bringing the sick and the needy into a hospital that doesn't even that sterilize its equipment? Right. That doesn't know how to right. read the documents on uh, and, and, and take care of their patients. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear people say, right, you know, here's the thing. I think that the people are saying, like, I don't know about that. Are the people that are experiencing churches that or a church environment or atmosphere culture whatever it is they're experiencing a church that doesn't do any evangelism right you know that the focus is solely on the inside and that's not what you're saying no 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 no. you're saying that you know in reach is important because when we outreach we're bringing them into the community for sure. And if the community's sick, if the community is whack, mm-hmm. if it's, you know, unhealthy, you know, that's more damage than good. Right. You know, right. because we're supposed to embody, you know, this 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 gospel that he's given us. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to be the bride of Christ, but 
if we're giving ourselves over to the world or you know if we're not displaying the gospel then when we bring people in it's just going to cause confusion and pain and hurt absolutely right absolutely. Um, so I, i'm i'm with you yeah i'm with you um, yeah it's yeah. very similar i always tell my wife like because she has this habit of wanting to try brand new meals when we have guests <laughs> Like stuff that like exotic is just exotic and experimental never, stuff. Yo, experimental uh, so trying stuff. Trying to experiment on, and I always tell her like, no, <laughs> do that when it's just us, <laughs> and per, and like get some type of basic understanding yeah. of what you're about to cook before they get here, like, cause I don't want it to be a disaster, <laughs> and then we end up having to order pizza, right. <laughs> Right, because my wife loves cooking. She's good at cooking, y'all. Don't get it twisted. She's good at cooking. We haven't had y'all over yet, but be nice. Uh, we, yeah, y'all gonna come over and we are gonna cook. I'm a actually meal. hungry right now, bro. I know. I'm about to get some food right you know after this. <laughs> but hey, yo, I'm telling you, like she has this yeah. this 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 way about her. She just likes to experiment stuff with guests, and I'm like, no, don't do that. And I think we do that in the church a lot of times. Yeah, we want to. Mm. We want to share a gospel with those outside of the church that we don't even share inside the church. Mm. Can I say that again? <laughs> say it again.